welcome to Tenable, the show where naming a top ten can win you a top cash prize. For example, if I asked for the ten richest UK rugby clubs and you said Bath, then you'd be cleaning up. But if you said Worcester, then you should check your source. The more top tens our team can beat, the greater their jackpot will be. So let's meet today's team. It's Shut That Troubadour. Hello, Shut That Troubadour. Hello. 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 So why the team name? So basically we're a male harmony group and our name is Troubadour. OK, team, will you all be singing to the same tune today as we play Tenable? OK, shut that troubadour. It's time to release the first question. The ten city stops north of York on the LNER railway line. So, Dan, as team captain, it's up to you to decide which player's best equipped to tackle this top ten. I could do this. You could do this, yeah. Yeah? Please. I'd like Lewis to go up then. OK, Lewis, please join me to play Tenable. Lewis, welcome to the game. Thank you. You were very keen to get up here. <laughs> well, I, I travel on it a lot, from London up to where I am, up to Edinburgh, yeah. you know. I'm feeling pretty confident. Well, you know, you've set the bar very high. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Myself and the viewer expect very high, great things well, of no you. Well, no pressure then, Warren. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Lewis, you need five tenable answers to put £1,000 into your team's prize fund and guarantee your place in the final. So, are you ready to play tenable? Yes, Warwick. OK, here's your question again. The ten city stops north of York on the LNER railway line. And I'll just clarify this for you. London North Eastern Railway operates trains between London and Scotland. We're looking for the ten cities which are north of York where LNER trains make regular timetabled station stops. This is according to the LNER route map as of April 2019. All right. <laughs> is that clear? Yes. All right, Lewis, best of luck. When you're ready, let's get your first answer on the board. I'm going to go with Newcastle. That's my first one, please, Warwick. OK, let's see. Is Newcastle our first tenable answer? Oh, hi, hi, there it is. Yes. Well done. It's a good start, Lewis. Thank you. Um, I'm going to say Edinburgh, please. Is Edinburgh tenable? Yes. You've got two answers on the board. Yep. Stop. Um, Durham, please. Durham? Yes. All right, let's see, shall we? Is Durham in this list? There it is, at the top of the list. Well done, Lewis. You've got three correct answers. You're two away from £1,000 and a place in the final. You still have your life. Three nominates, and Dan has the use of the overall buttons, should it be necessary. Um, I'm going to go with Darlington. Darlington? Yes. Is Darlington ten? So that's how it means your captain has hit the overall button, or as we're calling it today, the shut your noise button. <laughs> yeah. Dan, you don't like the sound of that answer. I wasn't overly convinced it was a city. OK. Uh, you now have to replace Lewis's answer with one of your own. I'm just going to have to hope that with a few Scottish ones in there and go for Glasgow. So you think Glasgow. Now, before we find out whether that is indeed a tenable answer, we have to find out whether Lewis's original answer is up there. You said... Darlington. Is Darlington tenable? Looking good. That is untenable. Dan, well played. Well done. Good use of the overall button. You were correct. Darlington isn't a city, but it is on that line. <sighs> OK. <laughs> So now we have to see whether Dan's replacement answer is tenable. You said... Glasgow. Is Glasgow tenable? <laughs> yes, yeah. it is. Well done. well done, Dan. Good play there. You have four correct answers on the board now. One away from £1,000 and a place in the final. 
I think I'm going to take one of the nominates just to get the five. Who would you like to nominate? Reese. 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 Can you help Lewis out? Aberdeen. Okay, you don't have to take his answer. I would love to take his answer, please. <laughs> you trust your bandmate, do you? Yes. So, for £1,000 and your place in the final, is Aberdeen our fifth tenable answer? Celebratory sound means you've got five tenable answers and we'll add £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done, Lewis. Thank you. And more importantly, though, Thank it you, means boys. you've won a place in the final. Yes, now, mate. Lewis, you can stop here if you wish, but if you think you know more, you can continue. Your next tenable answer is worth £2,500. You do still have a life, so you can make one mistake, but any more than that will mean we'll wipe the money you've banked and you'd be out of the game. What's your train of thought here? <laughs> <laughs> well, between Durham and York, Doncaster is the next station stop. I've got a life, so I'm going to take Doncaster, please. So, for £2,500, yes. is Doncaster in this list? Lewis, Doncaster is not a city, so you've lost your life now. Yeah. Be careful. Another incorrect answer means you'll leave the game through the vortex with nothing. I'm going to take the money, please. You're going to pull into the sidings. Yes. OK. <laughs> and I'm going to kick myself after this board's revealed. Uh, before you sit down, though, let's reveal the names of these missing <laughs> cities, shall we? Uh, team over there, any ideas? Scotland for me. Kilmarnock. Uh, Inverness. Dundee. OK, let's see. Which city is behind number 10? Inverness. Inverness, Inverness somebody yeah. said that. Number nine. Perth. Perth. Number eight. It's Stirling. Oh. Number six. Dundee. Right, this is the one <laughs> I need to know. And behind number three. Sunderland. Of course it is. Of course it is. Well, Lewis, you've added £1,000 to your prize fund and you'll return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations. Lovely. Thank you. Well played. <laughs> so, shut that troubadour. You've got £1,000 in your prize fund so far. Let's see if we can add to that. It's time to look at your next top ten. The ten ingredients in Delia Smith's Coco Vat. So, Dan, as team captain, it's up to you to decide which team member is the best person for this one. Well, I'm going to give it give to Reese. I think Reese is going to do a good job of it. All right then, Reese, please join me to play Tenable. <laughs> Hello, Reese. Hello. Welcome to the game. All right. Thank so, thank uh, what is it that you do? So I sing. I sing mainly the high bits and uh, some of the oos. Some of the oos. Oos. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to do an oo. Shall we oo together? Oo. <laughs> so give me the. Uh, so do oo oo. Which oo oo. Hang on a minute. Let me catch up with you. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. What's the key? Singer. What are we going into here? Let me just get this. Go. Give me the key then. <laughs> You're watching Tenable on ITV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I'll just stick to the hosting, eh? Yeah. Um, okay, Reese. Are you ready to play Tenable? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Here's your top ten. The ten ingredients in Delia Smith's Coco Van. Now I'll just clarify this for you. Mm -hmm. We're looking for the 10 ingredients used to make the French classic coco vin. This is according to the recipe in Delia Smith's Complete Cooking Course, published in 2004. For clarity, we are not including the butter, oil or flour, half of which is used to fry the ingredients and half made into a roux to thicken the sauce. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah. yeah. OK, well, uh, best of luck. When you're ready, let's get your first ingredient on the board. OK, OK. Uh, I'll go with chicken. All right, let's see, shall we? Is chicken our first tenable answer? There it is. Well done. Just don't get copied. OK. <laughs> OK, you've got one right answer. This is going well. Red wine. Let's see, shall we? Is red wine tenable? Yes! 
Well played. Good. A lot of French cooking has onion in it. Right. Tends to, so I'm going to go with onion. Is onion in this recipe? Yes, button onion. Um, I'm going to go with mushrooms. So, to take you one step closer to £1,000 and a place in the final. Yeah. Is mushrooms tenable? <laughs> Got to be top five. Yes, there they are. On, Dark gilled mushrooms. So you got four correct answers, now just one away from £1,000 at a place in the final. You've got two nominates and Dan has the overall, although it's your last chance to nominate and Dan's last chance to overall. OK. You still have your life. I'm going to go with water. That's how it means your captain has hit the overall button. Uh, Dan, you don't like the sound of his answer. Yeah, again, I'm not too sure why, but <laughs> I was just a bit nervous that it might not be up there. OK. You've got to replace his answer with an ingredient of your own. Pepper. So you're thinking pepper. Now, before we find out whether that's tenable, we have to see whether his original answer of water is tenable. Is water tenable? <laughs> water relief, it wasn't. Water relief. <laughs> Well done. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so uh, that went well. Now we have to see whether Dan's answer is up there. For £1,000 and your place in the final, is pepper tenable? Yes! Well done, that man, yes. That delightful ding -a -ling means you've got five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. Well done. And we'll add £1,000 to your prize fund. Good man. So, Reese, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five ingredients up there left to reveal. Your next tenable answer is worth £2,500, all right? But you still have a life, so you can make one mistake, but any more than that means you'll lose the money you've yep. banked and you'll be out of the game. What goes with pepper is salt. So, for £2,500, is salt a tenable answer? Yes! <laughs> Good work. Well done, Reese. So, that's £2,500 into the prize fund, and you still have your life. I'll go with tomato. And let's see, shall we? For £5,000 now. Is tomato tenable? <laughs> Gotta be top two. No, it's all right, it's all right. Tomato was untenable, I'm afraid, so you've lost your life now, Reese. Yeah. Another incorrect answer means you'll lose the £2,500 and be off through the vortex. You're not going to get another answer, I'm going to sit back down. OK. <laughs> we'll add the £2,500 to your prize fund and you're guaranteed a place in the final with your captain. Before you sit down, though, let's find yeah. out the names of these missing ingredients. Yeah. Uh, team over there, any ideas? Not really. Yeah, I'm I'm I don't even know what a cockle van is. I reckon some more <laughs> vegetables. Yeah. I've been sitting here the whole time Some more vegetable, but I'm not too sure what, really. Yeah. Um... OK, well, shall we have a look? What ingredient is behind number nine? Time. Time. <laughs> number four? Garlic. Garlic. Number yeah. two, bay leaves, and uh, number one, unsmoked streaky bacon. Well, Reese, you've added two thousand five hundred pounds to your prize fund, giving you a total of three thousand five hundred pounds, yes. and you'll be back to place it in the final. Thank you very much. Well done. Yes. Coming up, the next member of Shut That Troubadour will step up to the very own taxing tenable game board. Will he be a top ten hit? You'll find out if you don't go anywhere. <laughs> In 
Welcome back to Tenable, where Shutbat Troubadour have been taking on a series of tough top ten towers. So far, Lewis and Reese have made it through to the final, and they have banked £3,500. Let's get straight on with our next top ten. The first ten winners of Celebrity Big Brother. Now, Dan, who's the right person for this one? It's going to be Steve. Steve, please join me to play Tenable. All right, Steve, welcome to the game. Hello, Warwick. Hiya. So, uh, what's your ideal tenable list, Steve? Not this, uh, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, it, would be, it would have been Geography or, or Queen as well. I'm a big Queen fan. Queen? Yes. OK, let's hope when you play the game and uh, you're under pressure... <laughs> don't stop me now, Steve. <laughs> you can look at the lads and say... Flash? <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop me now. Do you want no, me to say champions. don't stop me now? We are, we are the champions! champions. <laughs> what, I shouldn't have looked that way. No, okay. no, 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 no. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. So, are you ready to play Tenable? Yes, Warwick. OK, here's your top ten. We're looking for the names of the first ten people to win the UK version of the reality television show Celebrity Big Brother. Is that clear? Yes. Have you watched Celebrity Big Brother in the past? No, it's not It's not something I would watch, unfortunately. All right, uh, best um, of luck um, with this, then. Yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> I know this person was on the original series, and I think he went on to be on the celebrity version. So I'm going to say Brian Dowling. All right, let's see, shall we? Is Brian Dowling our first tenable answer? That's untenable. So he won the uh, second series of Big Brother and he's been a presenter on the celebrity version. There we go. So you've lost your life, Steve, need I tell you. You're still five correct answers away from guaranteeing that place in the final okay. and adding a thousand pounds. You do have two nominates though, and Dan can overall. Okay. I'm gonna have to nominate. Who would you like to nominate? Lewis. Lewis, you have been nominated. Can you help Steve out here? I'm going to say Denise Welsh. OK, Lewis thinks Denise Welsh. You don't have to take his answer. I, I haven't got an answer, so I'll take uh, Denise Welsh. OK, let's see. Is Denise Welsh tenable? <laughs> yes. Hold on. She won the ninth series. So, well done, Lewis. I, I haven't got a clue. So I'm going to need to use that other nominate, please, for it. OK, who would you like to nominate? <laughs> going to use my friend yep. Lewis again. <laughs> All right, then, Lewis, can you uh, help Steve once again? Yeah, um, Shilpa Shetty. Right, Lewis thinks Shilpa Shetty. What do you think? Yes, I'll go with Shilpa Shetty. Let's see, is Shilpa Shetty a tenable answer? There she is. The Bollywood star won the fifth series. Well done, Lewis. Well done, Lewis. So you have no nominates remaining. The only lifeline you have is Dan and the overall button. So I remember a little bit of a stunt that they played when they put someone who wasn't a celebrity into the Celebrity Big Brother house. And they ended up actually winning it. <sighs> Michelle Horton. So, to keep you in the game, Steve... Yes. Is Michelle Horton tenable? <laughs> oh, I'm afraid that was untenable. So, sadly, you haven't added any money to the prize fund and you haven't secured a place in that final. OK. Before we say goodbye, though, Let's reveal the names of these missing contestants, shall we? Lewis. Yes. <laughs> any ideas? Chantel. Was that? Ah. All right, let's have a look, shall we? Who is behind number 10? Julian oh, Clary. Julian Clary, yeah. Crikey. Number 8. Paddy Doherty. Number 7. Alex Reed. Number 6. 
Eureka Johnson, number four. Chantal Halton, which is who you were looking for. Number three, Bez, Bez. from the Happy Mondays. Yeah. Yeah. And the number two, Mark Owen. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And number one, Jack, Jack D. D. Well, Steve, it saddens me to say you are terrible at Tenable. Definitely. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. We have one more top ten for our team before Captain Dan faces his list and attempts to win back Steve ahead of the final. Their prize fund currently stands at £3,500, but can they add to that pot? Jack, you're the only teammate left to play, so let's hope you're the right person for this one. This Please join me to play Tenable. Jack, welcome to the game. Hi, thank you. How are you doing? Not too bad. Excellent. Uh, excited to be here. You enjoy getting out and about? Yes, I do. I enjoy uh, going for walks through the countryside with my girlfriend. Some fresh air. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sounds peaceful. And walking. Yeah, it's nice. Or do you ruin it by singing all the time? I do, actually, yeah. She just tell me to shut up. Does she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Troubadour Jack, it's time for your solo performance on this here board. Here's your top ten. The first ten words of six or more letters in a whole new world. So I'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the first ten words of six or more letters in the lyrics to the song A Whole New World from the 1992 animated feature film Aladdin. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. Best of luck with it. When you're ready, let's get your first answer on the board. Um, OK. We're gonna, I'm going to go with Shining. All right, let's see, shall we? Is Shining our first tenable answer? Top of the list. Well done. Um, OK, next one. Shimmering. Is shimmering tenable? <laughs> Very good. Two correct answers. Surprised myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would say princess. Is Princess in this list? There's the Princess at number four. I'm going to say Decide. Is Decide tenable? Well played, Jack. So, just one answer away from £1,000 and your place in the final. OK, I'm going to say... Splendour. All right, let's see, shall we? Is... That's our means. Dan's hit the overall button once again. You don't like the sound of Splendour. No, I think it's similar to Splendour, but I'm going to say it's Splendid. I'm saying Splendid. All right, well, we'll... Uh... Before we find out whether Splendid is indeed the answer, let's see if Splendour is tenable. Good. It's untenable. Well done, Dan. Good use of the overall button. It's not over yet, though. We have to see whether your answer of... Splendid. We have to see whether that is tenable. If it's up there, you're going through to the final with £1,000. Is Splendid our fifth tenable answer? <laughs> splendid job, Dan. Well done. That euphoric sound means you've got five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. You can stop here if you wish. If you think you know more, you can play on. Your next correct answer is worth £2,500. You still have a life, so you can make one mistake, mm -hmm. but any more than that means you'll be eliminated from the game and will wipe the money you've banked. OK. OK. I'm going to play on. Yeah. I'm going to say wonder. OK, so for £2,500, is wonder a tenable answer? Yes, it is. 
£2,500 into your prize fund now. Your next correct answer is worth £5,000. I'm going to say a carpet. Saying carpet? Yes. For £5,000, is carpet a tenable answer? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Well played. So that's £5,000 into your prize fund. Your next correct answer is worth £10,000. And you still have your life. It might be too far in, but I'm going to say fantastic. For £10,000, and to take you one step closer to a perfect 10 and £25,000, is fantastic tenable? like your performance here on Tenable. Well done. Eight correct answers on the board now, two away from a perfect 10 and £25,000. Your next correct answer is worth £15,000. i still got my life as well. Indeed you have. OK, um, I'm going to say dreaming. For £15,000 and, to take you one step closer, to a perfect 10 and £25,000. Is dreaming tenable? Yes! yes! <laughs> Come on! Excellent work. That's £15,000 into your prize fund now. Your one correct answer away from a perfect 10 and £25,000, which is a rare thing here on Tenable. I think the lyrics are that it'll take you wander by wander. So I'm going to say wander. OK. So for a perfect 10 and £25,000, is wander our final tenable answer? Oh, Afraid so that was well, untenable. Mate. So. You have lost your life now, Jack. Mm -hmm. So be really careful here. Another incorrect answer, and you'll lose the £15,000 you've banked and your place in the final. Um, I'm not going to risk it. Not today. Not so, today? Not today. I'm going <laughs> to sit down and hopefully help yes. these lads out in the final. <laughs> All right, then, you've decided to take the money. We'll add that incredible £15,000 to the team's yeah, prize fund, yes. and you're guaranteed your place in the final. Brilliant, mate. Uh, before you sit down, though, let's find out what this missing word is, shall we? Uh, team over there, any ideas or even news? Sideways. sideways. Let's nah. have a look, shall we? What is behind yeah. number seven? Yes, it's yeah. sideways. So sideways. sideways. Sit down. <laughs> well, Jack, you've added £15,000 to your prize fund, giving your team a total of £18,500 and your return later to play for in the final. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well done. Right, after the break, Captain Dan takes on a penultimate tower in a bid to bring back shut that troubadour Steve. Can he put this boy band back together? You'll see what happens if you stay right there. <laughs> Welcome back to Tenable, where we've been testing shut that troubadour on a series of tricky top tens. There's just one more chance for the team to add to their fantastic £18,500 jackpot, and this time it's down to their skipper, Dan, to take on the tower. Now, Dan, as you're the captain, you'll definitely be taking part in the final, but this is your chance to get your team into the best possible shape before you play for the jackpot. Are you up to it? Let's do it. Come on. All right, Dan, Come it's on, time Dan. to play terrible. <laughs> hey, Dan, welcome to the game. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Yeah, well... Been a bit nervous waiting in the sidelines. Have you? I? Have you? I mean, you've been playing brilliantly. You've overruled three times and been right every time. That's impressive. I'll take that. You've lost <laughs> little Steve, though. Well, I wouldn't say little, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try my best to bring him back, because he's a big asset to the team. OK, Captain Dan. Now, just like in previous rounds, there's another potential £25,000 up for grabs. As always, you need five correct answers to get onto the money ladder. But this time, on your fifth correct answer, 
you'll have a decision to make. Take the £1,000 for your prize fund or forego the cash to win back eliminated teammate Steve. Now, he's waiting in the wings, desperate to help you win that jackpot. But first, you've got to win him back. To do that, we need five correct answers. You've got one life and your team have left you with no nominates. And, of course, because you're standing up here with me, you can't overrule yourself. OK. Good luck. Here's your top ten. Thank Come you. On, Come on. The ten largest stadiums in the UK. And I'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the ten largest stadiums in the United Kingdom by seating capacity. This is as of May the 3rd, 2019. Is that clear? Yeah. All right, then, Dan, best of luck. When you're ready, let's get your first answer on the board. OK, I'd like to start off with uh, my team, Man United, and say Old Trafford. All right, let's see. Is Old Trafford our first tenable answer? <laughs> yes. The home of your team, Manchester United. Wembley Stadium. Is Wembley Stadium in this list? There it is at the top of the list. The biggest stadium in the UK with a capacity of 90,000. Well done, Dan. Can I say White Hart Lane? Is White Hart Lane a tenable answer? That's untenable. So you've just lost your life. I'm really surprised by that. Has that knocked your confidence with this question? Yeah. Can I say Twickenham? Is Twickenham tenable? Twickenham has 82,000 seats. Oh, to put my pal. Can I say the Emirates? Is Emirates tenable? <laughs> yes, there it is. The home to Arsenal Football Club with just over 60,000 seats. So you've got four correct answers, just one away from that chance to bring back Steve or add £1,000 to your prize fund. Mm. I can't get the White Hart Lane one out of my head because I know it's a new stadium and it's bigger than the Emirates because they, they're London rivals and they, they built their stadium bigger. I'm going to just say the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, all right. Is Tottenham Hotspur Stadium our fifth tenable answer? Yes! yes! Well, that victorious sound means you've got five tenable answers. Well done. Good work, Dan. So now you have a decision to make. Do you want to take the thousand pounds or would you like to bring back. back Steve? Steve's coming back. He's coming back. Fantastic. Routine. Now, as always, you can play on. Another correct answer will put one thousand pounds into the prize fund. But uh, don't forget, you have lost that life. Yep. So uh, if you give me an incorrect answer, you'll lose Steve. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to call it a day and bring Steve back. Okay, you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to kick myself. I'm going to know all of these. But... Now. OK, Dan, let's have a look at those missing answers, shall we? Uh, team over there, if you could have been nominated, could you have helped? I'd have said mm. Ibrox. Or is the Millennium Stadium? I would have maybe said the Etihad as well, Man City, but... OK, let's have a look. Which stadium is behind number 10? It's the Etihad, Etihad Stadium, yeah. which is what you said. Number 8, Celtic Park. Celtic Park. Park. Yeah. yeah. Number 6, London Stadium. Yeah. Of course, West Ham. That's the yeah, Olympic, Olympic stadium, stadium in London. Yeah. Number 5... Didn't know that. Murrayfield Murray Stadium, yeah. number four. Millennium Stadium, which yeah. is, I think, what somebody said over there. Yeah. So there they are. But, Dan, you've played brilliantly today. Uh, you've won back Steve. 
which means all of you will be playing for a grand total of £18,500. Yes. Let's hear it for Dan. <laughs> right, after the break, Captain Dan and all of Shut That Troubadour will tackle their final list. Will they be in tune? Stay right here and all will be clear. Welcome back to Tenable, where Shut That Troubadour have a full team in the final and will be playing for a mouth-watering sum of £18,500. Well, Shut That Troubadour, to take home that prize, this time you're going to have to give me every answer up there and achieve a perfect ten. Now, Dan, as captain, you'll answer first. I'll then move down the line. If your answer is tenable, you're safe, and I'll move on to the next player. However, if it's incorrect, you'll be out of the game. Get 10 out of 10, though, and you'll be walking away with that £18,500. Well, shut that troubadour. Please step forward now to face your final top 10. <laughs> For your final list, you have two categories to choose between. Let's take a look. Banknotes, European geography. So, what do you like the look of, team? Geography. Yes. Oh. Yeah, can we have European geography, please? You've chosen European Geography. From this point on, there is no conferring. On your turn, you must say one answer and nothing else. Let's reveal your final top ten, worth £18,500. The ten countries nearest Germany. And I'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the names of the ten countries that are geographically nearest to Germany. This is about shared land borders or the distance between the land border of Germany to the nearest point on the land border of another country. OK. okay. Is that okay. clear? Yeah. OK, Dan, please step forward and take your position. And when you're ready, give me your first answer. Belgium. Is Belgium our first tenable answer? There it is at number nine. Good work. Lewis, please step forward. So, how do you feel about this question? I am terrible with geography. So, ah. this is a guess for me. OK. But I'm going to say Sweden. Let's see, shall we? Is Sweden tenable? Unfortunately, that was untenable, so we have to say goodbye to you. Thanks yes. for playing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Reese, please step forward. And when you're ready, give me your answer. I believe France. Is France one of the ten countries nearest Germany? <laughs> yes, there it is. Well played, Reese. Steve, you're up next. So, brought back from the Vortex to play. Yes. Can you deliver? Um, I'm going to say Poland. Is Poland tenable? <laughs> it's got to be top five. There it is at number two. Well played, Steve. OK, Jack, please step forward. I'm going to say Luxembourg. Is Luxembourg in this list? <laughs> yes, there it is. Well done, Jack. <laughs> Captain Dan. So, we've lost Lewis. Yep. But there's still four brains to find six answers. Austria. Is Austria our fifth tenable answer? <laughs> there it is. Well done, Dan. OK, Reese, your turn. So you're halfway there now. Yeah. 
Spain. Is Spain a tenable answer? Untenable. So, Reese, we have to say goodbye to you. Yeah. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Steve, we're back round to you again. So, how are you feeling about this? Okay. Yeah. There's a, a few options. Okay. The Netherlands. Is Netherlands tenable? Is at number 10 in the list. Well done, Steve. OK, Jack. So you weren't very confident when you stepped up here just now, no. but you delivered a right answer. Can you do it again? Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a stretch, but I'm going to say Russia. Let's have a look. Is Russia tenable? That was untenable. We have to say goodbye to you now. Thanks Good for playing. Luck, Good luck, boys. <laughs> Captain Nan. So they're dropping like flies. There's two yeah. of you left to find Everyone four knows. answers. That's two answers each. Oh, yes. <laughs> Switzerland. So to take you one step closer to a perfect 10 and 18,500 pounds, is Switzerland tenable? Step forward, sir. OK. Um, I'm going to say Denmark. Is Denmark tenable? You brought Steve back, and uh, yeah. he's the last member of the team still with you. Yeah, this is a good round. Very worthwhile. But he did just say the answer that was going to be my <laughs> next one, uh, so... Oh. Can I go for Ukraine? Ukraine? Yes, please. Is Ukraine a tenable answer? So we have to say goodbye to you, sir. Thank you. Good luck, Thank Steve. You. Thank you. Steve. Hello. So brought back from the vortex. And okay. now it's just you, me, and the tenable game board with two <laughs> yeah. missing answers. £18,500 at stake here. Right. Hungary. So, to take you one step closer to a perfect 10 and £18,500, is Hungary tenable? Oh, Steve. That's untenable, which means, unfortunately, you haven't managed to top the tower and you won't be going home with that prize money. I'm really, really sorry. Uh, as the rest of the team join us now, <laughs> let's find out what these missing answers were, shall we? Has anyone been inspired? Bulgaria or Estonia? Latvia. Bulgaria. Lots of options. Let's see which ones are there. Behind number five. Please. Oh. Lichtenstein. Oh. Number three. It's Czechia, Czechia, the new name for the Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Oh, so there they are. 
Oh, chaps, I'm really, really sorry. You played a brilliant game today, Thank though. You. You've been, been brilliant great. to watch. Brilliant. Thank yeah, you thanks. so much. <laughs> so there you have it. When it came to their final tenable tower, shut that troubadour weren't such a super group after all. Bad luck, team. Join me next time when five more contestants play tenable. Goodbye. Oh, that's... I'm sorry. I'm really sorry.